So this week's Torah portion, we have two complementing views. We'll start with the Maggid of Zlotchov, the Torah portion of Baal Atcha. Um, so we're told that God tells Moses, who tells Aaron, this is the way the menorah, you know, what it needs to look like. This beautiful candelabra, what it looks like in the temple. And, and we're told that Aaron does exactly as he's told. And Rashi there says, uh, you know, it's praise that, that he did exactly as he was told. It's praise that Aaron didn't change anything. And the Maggid questions this and says, if you know that God tells you to do something, are you going to change anything from what God tells you? That, that, that can't really be the praise. So what's really going on here? And then the Maggid gives us this sort of psychological insight, which is fascinating. He says, and he quotes the grandson of the Baal Shem Tov, uh, the Degel Machan Ephraim, who says, we know that when one person speaks to another person, our words only represent an eighth, an eighth. I don't know where he gets this from, of what our mind is thinking about. Whether it's because we can't fully articulate it, whether because we're thinking about other stuff, but you only, your words only ever can express an eighth, or that is what the other person grasps. And therefore, you know, the other person listening can only grasp what your words spoke, but not completely get your mind. However, a wise person, a wise person knows through your words to complete the picture of what else is going on in your mind. And he says, this is the praise of Aaron. That Aaron and this, by the way, explains why two people can be in the same conversation. They can be, or, you know, some business deal. They leave and they each have a different impression, even though they, they sign the same contract and they have different interpre interpretations. Right? Many times this is why people go to, 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 to court. And so he's saying here that, that this is the reason. Because your mind can only ever transmit an eighth to, to, to the spoken word. But a wise person knows to complete the picture. And that's what Aaron was able to do. So that's, that's an interesting take on sort of understanding Aaron's you know, uh, uh, cognitive abilities. Or analytical abilities perhaps. And now we move on to Rabbi Yaakov Ichzer. Rabbi Yaakov takes us, you know, a bit more Kabbalistic. Um, and he says, you know, the whole project of God choosing the Israelites, right, was in order to bring holiness down to earth. It was to make us holy, mamlechet koanim, goy kadosh, so that we are holy like God. Right, so the whole purpose is that because that, you know, he wanted to create a resemblance of above, just like there are angels and holiness above, he wants holiness below. And by the time we created the, 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 you know, the temple, the Mishkan, then we created that holiness. And, and how do we know that we created that holiness? Because even the man, the food that we were getting was coming from above. There's a reason why it was coming from above, because we were completely holy. So we had to get everything from the source of holiness. And then he says, this is what is miraculous about the Torah portion of Baal Atcha and the menorah. The final part here, right? If God's project is to bring spirituality down to earth, our project is to bring spirituality up to the heavens. And he says, this is what the menorah is all about. Because when you look at the, 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 the fire and the candle, it shows, right? It's, it, it, it's meant to symbolize, but not really, because it's more than just symbolic, symbolize how physical material, right? Fire goes up into heaven and what's down here goes spiritually above. And he says, what are we meant to do? We're meant to, our spirit, our internal part is meant to go above. Our neshama, our nefesh is meant to connect with the higher world. And whenever we look at the menorah and see it being lit, and we see how the material turns into spiritual, we see we're doing our end of the bargain. If God brings spirituality from above below, we bring spirituality from below above. And he says, this is what's the miracle when we look at the menorah, what we're supposed to see. So two com uh, 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 complementary views on this act of the menorah and how to view this and how we can understand this portion. Shabbat Shalom.